We're now looking at chem activity two, what's well, atomic number and atomic mass. Uh, we're still looking at isotopes. And uh, it starts with how many isotopes of magnesium occur naturally on Earth. And uh, in the table, we can see there are three different uh, magnesium isotopes. And then there's questions like, what is the mass in AMU when I have a thousand of carbon-12? Well, you can go here and look 12, carbon-12. See, almost all of the carbon is carbon-12. And it is exactly 12 AMU. Well, if I have a thousand of them, I just have to multiply 12 with thousand. And uh, so it says here if I select a thousand carbon atoms and they're completely random. And so the question is, uh, what will the total mass likely be? Well, let's go back to what I just told you guys. Um, almost 99% of all the carbon is carbon 12 and only 1% is carbon 13. So I know that the number is going to be very close to 12. Um, probably a little bit above because 1% is uh, a little bit heavier. And so of the questions that you have been given here, or the answers you've been given, I would go with be slightly more than 12,000 AMU. And uh, over here to uh, calculating the average mass. It just shows you if I have a handful of elements of atoms, uh, just imagine they are marbles, and uh, they are going to weigh a little bit different. Uh, just like it, marbles at different size, uh, elements are going to have different isotopes. So uh, some of them are going to weigh 5 grams, 7 grams, etc. But altogether, these four uh, will then weigh 26 grams. Uh, so the two ways that I can calculate that, I can take uh, 1 times 5, because I got one of those, and 3 times 7, because I got four of the, no, 3 of those, and divided by the total, which is 4. And I get an average that's 6.5 grams. And now... Pay attention, none of the marbles weigh 6.5 grams. It is just an average mass. And uh, another way of doing it is 5 grams and then I multiply by 0, 0.25. That's because 25% of these four marbles weigh 5 grams. And that makes 75% weighs seven grams so it is the same way of doing this math it's just that here i go by how many marbles and here i go by how many percentage of the marbles i'm still going to get the same answer 6.5 and so when they ask here what should which method should i go with this one or this one well you see here in the in the question itself it is given in percent i have 37.2 percent and 62.8 percent it does not give you anything but how many marbles i have it says in percentage so of course i have to use this method right here which goes by percentage and so you can use these methods to figure out uh, the average mass of chlorine atom. You can scroll up here and uh, let's find chlorine right here. So we have two different isotopes, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. So just use the same models as always. Um, same thing, what is the average mass of a chlorine atom? You can find out that in gram by also using, um, let me see, there we go, 1 AMU equals 1.66 times 10 in a negative 24 grams. So you need to use, 